Dust check, tool belt check, hard hat check. Time to Leo and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the team are so much fun, and they get the job done. Yeah. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. So Philip, your new garage will be going right under here. Ah, oh, wonderful, Bob. You mean it's going to be an underground garage? Correct, Muck. The whole garage will lift up out of the ground and then lower back down like... well, a lift. <laughs> all done with powerful arms called hydraulic cylinders. And all controlled by Philip or this remote control. <sighs> I'm so looking forward to having some peace and quiet in my underground garage, away from all the noise. Bob! Hi, Mayor Madison. You do know I need Philip's garage to be ready tomorrow morning. Philip is bringing Mayor Snipe to see how we're using all the newest gadgets here at Fixum Town Hall. The underground garage is going to be my big surprise. We should have it ready by the end of today. It's going to be awesome! That is exactly the sort of noise I want to get away from. Sorry, Mr Philip. He's a little bit scary. So, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! Madison. I've just spoken to the suppliers. The hydraulic cylinders won't be delivered until this evening. Which means we won't be able to have Philip's garage finished before night time. But what if it rains, or there's a dust storm, or, or a mudslide? We can't have Philip staying out tonight. Yes, I do not enjoy being dirty. No offence, Mark. Hmm? Why don't you stay at our yard? I'm sure one of the vehicles won't mind you having their shed for the night. Terrific idea, Bob. What? Right then, team, let's go! Oh, a builder's yard. Here we are, Philip. You'll get a good night's sleep here. Hello! Bob, I have a delivery for you. Ah, that's two-ton with the hydraulic cylinders. We'll fit them first thing in the morning. Come on, Scoop. Help me bring them in. Hmm. Uh, I'll see if they need some help. Where should I put these cylinders, Bob? Inside the workshop, please, Scoop. And be gentle with them, Scoop. Um, Bob, whose shed is Philip having for the night? I don't mind sleeping outside with all the bats and the ghosties. Thanks, Scoop. Phew, that's good. I don't like sleeping outside. Away safely, Bob. Thanks, Scoop. Right, we've got an early start tomorrow, so it's time for bed. Good night, everybody. Night. No night. Night. Good night, Bob. <sighs> I can't sleep. There's something wrong, Philip. There's a smell of oil and oh, old cloths. Yeah, that's my collection of old oily rags. I can't possibly sleep in here. You can have my shed if you like. And um, careful as you reverse it. It's a little bit. Yes, thank you, Lofty. I'm very good at parking. Right. Hmm. Acceptable. Ah, oh. oh! What was that? 
Is everything okay, Philip? Who's using a chainsaw at this time of night? Oh, that's just Rowley snoring. I've got used to it. It's actually quite pleasant. Well, I can't sleep in this shed. I need peace and quiet. Muck, I need your shed. Really? I can't sleep outside. What if there was a dust storm in the night? Oh, OK. Oh, yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. Ooh. Thank you. <sighs> Suppose I'll have to find somewhere else to sleep. <laughs> no, Kitty, you'll get paw prints all over me. Get off. Is there nowhere I can find some peace and quiet? Mm. Oh, who put these here? Oh, I suppose this will have to do. You go. Phew. Nearly comfy. One more inch. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's that noise, Gull? I hope it's not a ghosty. That <laughs> muck. <laughs> What's going on? Where's Muck? He just went off somewhere. I'm not surprised. I think you might have scared him. What do you mean? That cement dust makes you look like a ghost. And he thought you were scary enough already. Oh, dear. We'd better go and find him. <laughs> there he is. Mark! Mark! Oh, the ghost again! Oh, no, what have I done? Oh. Mark, it's OK. It's just me and Philip. I thought Philip was a ghostie. <sighs> what are you lot doing it? Oh, no, the jacks, they're all dented and broken. It's all my fault. No, I'm the one to blame. I took Muck's shed and made him sleep outside. Then I scared him into the workshop. I'm sorry, Muck, I've been a terrible guest and I've been very rude to you. That's OK. It's going to take time to get new cylinders. How are we going to finish your garage before you bring Mayor Snipe to the town hall? If only you drove as slowly as me, it'd take you ages to get there. Muck, you've just given me a wonderful idea. There we go, Philip. All clean and ready to go. Thank you, Bob. Does everyone know what they're doing in Philip's Go Slow plan? Yes! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Working fine. Thank you, Wendy. Well, I've seen your remote controlled doors and your remote controlled lights and your remote controlled toilet. 
What's this final surprise, Mayor Madison? It's my new garage for Philip. Hmm. Maybe you should make him remote control too, because it took ages getting here. I heard there was a lot of slow-moving traffic on the roads this morning. <laughs> Come on, Mayor Madison, where's this new garage? I pressed something on here, I suppose. Uh, what's happening? Is it an earthquake? Thank you, Bob. Whoa! Which button makes it go down? Oh, we can stop. Oh, no, oh! Ah! I'm not sure it's supposed to work like that. I think it works perfectly. Philip! 